Hello, this is Rob Cubbon from robcubbon.com. I'm going to show you the amazing Next Gen Gallery plugin for WordPress because it's just so awesome. Here is my gallery. The fantastic thing is about this, I was just given a load of images. Here they are, so many of them. I didn't want to go in and crop them and caption them myself, so I didn't have to with this amazing plugin. If you hover over, you get the file name and you click on it, you get the file name. So all people need to do is to give my client the file name and she can provide the product. The amazing thing is about this, it's totally automated. I didn't have to go in and do any of these. Another fantastic thing about it is it's totally responsive. If you have a responsive WordPress theme, that is. If you don't have a responsive WordPress theme, of course the gallery won't be responsive. So how did I do that? Let me show you. So I got this one, accessories so far. I'll show you how I do the next one. Let's have a look at my pages. So I need to make a new page already, but I'll, I'll leave that for now. Let's have a look at the galleries, add gallery images, manage gallery. And I've already done the accessories. So let's do the Barocco one. So we go to add galleries, images and upload a zip file because we don't want to upload all the images individually. We just want to upload a zip file. Unfortunately, my upload limit on my server is two megabytes. Now you can change that using a PHP INI, which I have done, and it doesn't seem to have worked, but it does work if I just upload the zip to the site and give them the URL. So I'm gonna do that now. Barocco zip, so that should be the, the right address there, and I'm gonna put it into the Barocco gallery and start upload. Now this is gonna take a while because it's uploading scores and scores in it and images and creating thumbnails for them. So that's done, zip file successfully unpacked, 129 pictures successfully added and thumbnails created. So if we go to manage gallery, there is our gallery, and there are all the images with the thumbnails, and there's our alt text. This will be the tooltip, this will be added to the title text of the thumbnail, therefore if you hover over the thumbnail, you'll get the file name, which is handy in this case. And if you're unhappy with the crop of the thumbnail, of course you can just go up on FTP on the site and recrop the image and put it in there with the same file name and that will work. Now in order to get the short code for the page you need to know the gallery ID which is here. The gallery ID is 1. And so if you go into pages we'll add new and add a page called Barocco and I want to put that under the collections. All you need is this short code. The gallery ID is 1 remember. I've got that template caption that actually ensures that you get the file name on the large view. I actually had to hack the plugin to get that. It's to put the file name on the larger view, the um, shadow box view of the image when you click on it. If you want to know how to do that, you'll have to drop me a line. So, open square brackets, ng gallery id equals 1, close square brackets, creates the gallery, and we'll present images when you click on the thumbnailed image at the larger size. So we'll save that, or publish that, add it to the menu, save that, go back to the site and refresh, and now if I go to that new one, there is our new gallery. It's five or six pages of it, as you click on the image you get the larger version with the file name. Isn't that amazing? All you need to do to get this in your WordPress site is to go to plugins and search for the next gen gallery. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcubbon.com. Goodbye.